Decker is getting ready for his seventh transatlantic flight and he is not even 15 months old. Uh, oh, he had a very domestic summer uh -huh. but a couple flights nonetheless. Wolfie that is beautiful and you're doing really good so far we just have to really wear you out. Mm. Okay we'll do one more change. Can I see his shirt real quick? Airplane. Perfect. My Into the lovely. jammies we go. Okay. Changing into jammies before the flight, doing our final diaper change right before the flight. Um, and he just had a little bit of meatballs and pasta. And he'll snack a bit, watch a little Miss Rachel, and then he'll go to bed. We are unpacking. Sam's setting up the Wi-Fi and the TVs. Wolfie is running around naked in his room. I'm going to do a whole house tour, but you, you got to let me decorate a little bit first. We're just getting in. So here's just a quick little preview. Such a nice day out in London. That's the O2 Arena, which is where Sam's team will play in and win their championship game. So it's kind of cool that every day we look out to see that. Um, but yeah, probably in my next vlog, I'll do a full tour but down here there's so many like fun cafes and down on this side there's so many fun cafes and things that are opening soon like a deli and a grocers and what else a bakery so we love it and then over here is all canary wharf so that's where we lived last year so it's kind of fun to see that all the boats take off here and you just follow the thames in to central london we are in east london got a doll this balcony a little bit but it is so good to be back. Now we're just unpacking and getting organized. We were so excited to eat Indian food and realized we didn't have any cutlery or plates or bowls or anything. So we're using one cheese, <laughs> cheese knife, Wolfie's baby spoon, a plastic cup. I'm sure it works. What was this from? Uh, yogurt. Okay, we have one of these from the flight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, I've spilled on myself already. I also don't really have any clothes. So I'm wearing Sam shorts, like we're a pretty weak operation here. <laughs> baby's food is kind of huh. doing it. But we got our Indian food. Look at this guy walking on cobblestone. These are my London pants. These are your London pants? Oh. Pick a lot of people in London. Okay. Yep. It's our first full day. Dad's good at walking. At our new home. Dad is so good at walking. This will be here in the morning. Yep. Today we ran a bunch of our errands. We went to H&M Home. Got some stuff. They had amazing things. I didn't even tell you at H&M Home. They had like final sale clearance area. Uh -huh. I need to go back because I need to get so much more stuff. And then we went to John Lewis, which is like their Macy's. Target. Target. Macy's. I think it's a step up and really good day. Now we're having dinner with some friends before they leave London. So we'll see them one last time. I think Target's their Target. Do they have Target? I think there's a couple Targets. Mm, I haven't seen a Target. That's an American thing. They have PJ Maxx. Good morning to everyone. If you followed my vlog for a while now, you will remember the site. We are at the storage unit in London. Little man here is helping us. We're taking some of these empty suitcases to put in, although already hit a snag. We thought we had this all figured out, all buttoned up. We have one of those courier vans coming to meet us. We're gonna load her up and take it to our new apartment. And we realized we have the wrong key, even though. I adamantly put it on this with a little London bus 
And Sam's saying this isn't it. So, I mean, a bit of a hiccup. So Sam went to the office to try to find um, which key it is. Looks like it should be a little gold one. So stay tuned. Obviously I can't record this while he's here because he's pooched. Yeah, it's, it's ours. <laughs> All's well that ends well. Okay, we haven't seen this stuff in a minute. We gotta pack it up quick. Okay, what do we got? So now this is all of our stuff. And we're leaving some in the storage unit. This is the stuff we're taking back to the apartment. So, it'll be very fun to figure out how we fit all that. Okay, we're back from the storage unit. It was actually pretty seamless. We had one of those Addison Lee like courier vans, which I think is just in the UK, but needs to be in the States. It's amazing. It works like an Uber. It's a big van. If this is in the States, forgive me, because I've never seen it where I've lived and I've lived all over the country, but it works like an Uber. You book it, a big van comes. The guy doesn't even have to get out. The one today did, the one yesterday didn't. You load up the car and you follow them in an Uber, meet them there, and it's like 30 bucks. Granted, it takes like 30 minutes for all this to happen based on like the locations we're going. But if you did like a cross city move, anyways, really like that service, Addison Lee. And we got everything here from our storage unit. It's way more than we thought. And it just makes you hate the stuff you have. Like every time we move, which is, feels like a couple times a year now, cause we move like once in Europe. And then I feel like we're always packing up or moving our stuff out of a home in the States, but I'm just sick of moving stuff. And it makes you not want to buy another single thing. I say that now, and then we'll get settled and I'll go to Zara. But I'm just trying to like figure out where stuff goes, why I need stuff. I definitely can notice some duplicates in my wardrobe. I'm like, those two blazers are a similar shade of blue, but then I'll justify that they're totally different. Um, but when you live in a small apartment in a big city, you just can't have excess. So I'm trying to really be lean and mean and we're going to keep our storage unit it's also extremely reasonable it's like 30 bucks a month so we're going to keep that so we can keep luggage in there we have no room for luggage in here and like winter clothes and so we're trying to be smart with it um sam had to go off to a doctor appointment wolfie is watching miss rachel and i'm going to just roll up my sleeves and unpack and clean and get things done i feel like a lot of the clothes that are in there need to be washed um, which sucks because the washing machine in Europe and definitely here is just horrible. It's a two in one and it's teeny tiny. Like you have to do a small load and it never dries. I swear I've never had clothes come out of the dryer dry. So I really hate doing laundry here. That's what I, that's like the one thing I miss in America is like my big fat American washer dryer jumbo load, throw like 10 towels in there. Ugh, what a dream. Okay. I'm going to get to work. Oh, just one more thing I was thinking, the jet lag. I was up last night, it's our second full night. I was up last night until four, like could not sleep. And it really sucks because Wolfie slept through the night. Not only did he sleep through the night, he slept in. He slept like 9 p.m. to 8.30 a.m. I was up till four. It was, I mean, wild. And then Sam let me sleep to like, I think nine is ultimately when I got up. But yeah, so I'm, my mind gets going when there's house stuff to be done and like decorating and like unpacking and organizing, I can't think about anything else. Like I'm, I don't work right now until the NFL season starts. So I'm so glad I can give this all my energy because I would not be able to focus on anything else. I need to get us moved in and get us settled. One other thing I want to talk about is I'm already anxious about my skin now that we're back in London. Cause I don't know if you remember, if you watched some of the vlogs from last spring when I started vlogging, um, I broke out horribly in London, the water just, did not agree with me. I can't remember if it's hard water or soft water, but whatever it is, it ain't for me. And just all year, I felt like I just kept breaking out. So I'm like really trying not to wash my face with the water. I'm using a lot of like cleansing pads. I even have one of those spray, um, like pH balanced water cans. I need to restock that. So I don't know if anyone has a tip on London water breaking you out or really anywhere. Same thing when I go to my parents' house in Door County, Wisconsin, I always break out from the water. Um, and that's well water, so very different. And I'm pretty sure our water in London's coming from right here. Oh yeah, I can't wait to give you an apartment tour. But there's things that need fixing. Like, let me show you one thing. So this is the living room. The apartment came furnished. I hate these two, <laughs> hate these two, need to take those down. 
And what I wanna do is just a tree in the corner and then one big, really pretty piece of art, maybe even like black and white photography um, and something like London-y, something that makes us feel like we're in London. Cause like, look out at our view, it's insane. Um, really don't, don't like the rug, but I feel like I have to just get over that um, and decorate around it. I also don't like the table. I feel like everything here feels like bachelor pad and like mishmash. And I just, oh God, if we like bought this place, I would just go to town because look how pretty the kitchen is. I don't know, I wanted like a big Turkish rug with a navy somewhere in there to match the kitchen. And then I would do a totally different couch. Although this is crazy comfy. So anyways, a little sneak peek, but I've got my work cut out for me because I need to try to make this place um, just liveify it, you know? Hey, Carpenter Sam. Remember when we thought it was a good idea to buy our own bed, get rid of the one that came in this furnished apartment, and that we just assemble it ourselves, yeah? <laughs> All from Ikea. The Swedes, lovely people. Yes. Weird, <laughs> weird beds. Oh my God, this is gonna take forever. <laughs> Holy cow. But the reason we got this one is because it has drawers in the bottom and we need every inch of storage. Oh my gosh, this is gonna to be tough though. We got this is gonna take you all day. No, a couple hours. Okay. You'll sleep in it tonight. Oh, wow, okay. Maybe I'll get lucky. <laughs> and are you sleeping on the couch? <laughs> okay, so here's the cute little playground. There's a bunch a of little boat. playgrounds. A boat in our new area. This one, he's loving this little teepee over here. And the boat. All right. Okay, we're off to do something very fun today. And I've dressed Wolfie in as close to London Lions colors as I can. We don't have much merch. I need to check how much baby merch they make. But black and red and really cool new kicks from Zara that were $7.99, by the way, originally for like 40. So that was a good purchase in Chicago. Um, but we're all ready to go. We are headed to a photo shoot for Sam for the new London Lions merch. And he said, come get dressed up, bring Wolfie, and we're gonna try to do some family pictures too. Um, hey, if there's a camera there and we can jump in front of it, we will, because I definitely want to capture this moment um, right before the season starts, right when we got here. It's super fun, we're all excited. And I also want to see the new merch because Sam showed me some pictures and it looks incredible. So we're all ready to do that. I'll show some behind the scenes when we get there. And we're just, just trucking away, happy to be here. Already found the best wolves. Up. Up. You can't shoot up there. That's too high. <laughs> um, those hats are so sick. Yeah. I, I like that cream. This would go perfect. Yes, it would. And the burnt orange is cool. Yeah, oh, all of them are really yeah, cool. Yeah. Right, I can't that really pops my favorite. Up. This one is a bit more when you try to be low key. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know. Flights. I don't know. Yeah, for sure. When will you? When do? When will you be able to get to this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. I don't think so, bud. I don't think so. Oh, oh, so close. for a couple of beers and looking at bicycles. <laughs> bird! That's not a duck, it's a bird. We actually love this spot. So this area is really cool. It's called Hackney Wick. So Sam's team plays right across that bridge up there. So I come here 
before games lot there's all this like beautiful graffiti everywhere it's very hipster uh, a lot of breweries and really good street food and there's a canal that people ride a uh, little like steamboats down or houseboats there we are we are exploring a new area and absolutely loving they have this like nature reserve and walk look out lane it's just so magical loving our new area we're just a couple train stops away from where we lived last year so still general east london so we know our our basic stops and how to get places but there's like art everywhere it's very artsy kind of this industrial feel Lally? yeah oh, hi, hi. Lally. Lally. Sunday, I'm headed into uh, the city, into Shoreditch, um, to go to Soho House to do a workout class and have lunch with my friend. I just joined Soho House, and to be honest, I'm. It, it's got to prove something to me right now. I really wanted to join. Sam didn't get in. They famously like don't let athletes in, um, so I felt pretty cool when I got in and he didn't. But you can bring three guests, so really only one of us needs to be a member. The Shoreditch location is really cool because it has a pool it has two restaurants gym workout classes spa um it, it actually has a ton of amenities it's not just like a place to go to be seen and um so i'm excited because i think i'll really use the amenities um however it's kind of a trek for me i thought it'd be easier to take two different trains there um so, so and the reason i feel silly is because where we live has all these amenities built in indoor pool outdoor pool two different indoor pools two different gym areas rooftop yoga, uh, yoga down here. Like we've got all these things here and uh, all this workspace, lounge space, bars. And so Sam keeps giving me a hard time. He's like, pretty sure you didn't need this membership. He's probably right. So I already paid up front for the year. So we'll just see if I like it. Um, it's expensive too. So I'm, it's gotta, it's gotta be worth it. But I need to commit to going often. Like I need to think of it like that's our country club. That's just where we go. So the vibe is cool. It's trendy, but Sam says everyone thinks they're so important and they just sit around and smell their own farts, which is um, maybe a little true, maybe a little chill. So we'll see. Um, in other news, last night we went on our date night. Um, we had a sitter, someone we had last year who we loved. And I really hope every Saturday we have a sitter because he'll either have a home game or that should be our date night. Um, and we just had so much fun, took the train into Mayfair, went to Amazonico, which is a place I'd been wanting to go for a while, had heard amazing things about it. If you're American, you'll know this reference. Um, it's like an adult, fancy rainforest cafe. So it was very cool, very lively, live music. I tried to take some video, but as you saw, not enough. I it out for one more drink at um, a bar at the Brown Hotel in Mayfair. We went to their bar um, downstairs, which was so much fun. And just really important to like keep up that date night because we ended up having so much to catch up on. Even though we spent all this time together, we keep passing each other and things keep happening like with my work or with his work. And so I know everyone says that, but I think to schedule on a date night, pay for the sitter. I once heard a quote that said, 
yeah, babysitter's expensive. Therapy's a lot more expensive. A divorce is a lot more expensive. So just get the sitter, find someone you trust, find someone you love. And the sitter we have um, teaches at a nursery school for two-year-olds and Wolfie's one. So it's the perfect combination. And I will say, she said he's very ahead of the game. She said he acts and looks like a two-year-old that she teaches. So that made me feel good. It's really great if you can find a teacher um, in some capacity to be your babysitter too. One, a lot of them like to get the extra cash and two, they can keep you up to date on where your kid is and they can continue to push them and challenge them and teach them while they're sitting. You know, they're not just gonna put on a show. So anyways, just some Sunday thoughts. Okay, and then I just wanna finish with this for this vlog. Um, and I hate to get so deep or end on a sad note, but that's what this whole thing is about is being a little bit more raw and vulnerable and like really talking. That's why I like a vlog, it's like long form. Um, so I wanted to tell you guys about something that happened this week and the lesson that's in it. Um, my grandmother passed away this week, my mom's mom, Mary Latimer, and it happened like two days after we got to London. So of course the timing's horrible and I feel horrible. I can't be there with my family, with my mom, who is an only child and now has lost both of her parents. And that's tough. I had a FaceTime in to the family viewing uh, with the preacher and we did a prayer and we talked about memories and we got to see her. Um, but to be FaceTimed in for that feels bad. I feel sad about that. I, I wanna be there. And the part that's really hard is that she had texted me the night before, which as we've kind of done the math on the timeline, it would have been what we imagined to be hours before she passed. And I didn't text back because it was late. We were going to bed here in London. So it would have been afternoon her time. And I said, oh, I'll text her back in the morning. Well, we text pretty frequently actually. And I thought, oh, I'll text her back in the morning. And then my mom called me and said that she had passed. So I, my last memory now is that I didn't respond. Um, and I feel horrible because I know I'd done a bunch of other things on my phone in that time. I was going to respond in the morning. I know I paid some bills. I edited a reel. I did silly things that I do on my phone, yet I couldn't find the time to text her back. And I feel really horrible about that. My mom keeps telling me, you know, how, how would you know if like, there's so many times you text back and forth or someone you love so much, my, my siblings, my parents, and you just forget to text back. But it was my grandmother and it was my last correspondence with her and I said nothing and I feel really, really bad about that and I have to live with that. And I keep praying to her and, and praying to God that she doesn't, re she didn't register that I didn't respond and that she forgives me and that she knows I love her. <clears throat> so it's, the moral of this story is you never know, young or old, when it's the last time you see or talk to someone. <clears throat> and I know that's a cliche, but call your grandmother. In fact, I got a coffee right after, the day after, and the barista said, how's your day going? And I said, oh, actually not not good. My, my grandmother passed and so I'm kind of having a sad day. And, <clears throat> and he said, oh my gosh, I just got off the phone with my granny and now you make me want to call her back. I just, that was, that's so sad. And I said, make sure you do because the point is that you do talk to them. So anyways, that's that's been a real damper on this week because it's been in the back of all our minds and now we're gonna figure out funeral arrangements because I obviously wanna go home for that. Um, and I just wanna be there for my mom. I know this is a tough one. I can't imagine losing one parent and then losing your second um, at any age, especially your mom. So um, that's, that's that for this week. There's been a lot of fun moments, a lot of highs. Um, moving here has been great. We love being back, but then to have that pull back home, and this is just a part of our decision, I guess you would say, to live over here for Sam to accept, you know, this job and for me to come out with him is that we do miss a lot of family things, happy and sad. Um, last year we had to fly home for Sam's grandpa's funeral. You'll probably remember that. And now this. So call your grandma. I hope you guys have a great week. Thanks again for watching.